twins born in a plasma chamber. Side by side, same color, clarity, and cut, and the same price. The artisan created diamond is just 20% bigger. That's all. Toronto's breaking news, traffic, and weather. This is Jerry Agar. News Talk 1010. It's a Motown Friday. I'm Jerry Agar. She's Leanne Phillipson from SproutRight.com. Nutritionist, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing, Nutritionally Jerry? sound, are you? Nutritionally sound, yes. I just had my smoothie on the way here. It was a bit of a late uh, breakfast today. Were you drinking your smoothie while you were driving? I was drinking and not putting on red lipstick like, like, <laughs> like Lisa tries to do. You know, somebody that wrote in. so funny. Since you heard that, a woman wrote in and said, you know, a real woman could put lipstick on while driving, much less sitting in the passenger seat. Yes. Yeah. But she didn't say red lipstick. Well, no, you don't want to get there looking like a clown. No, quite. Clowns are having enough problems right now with that <laughs> Stephen King movie out. All That's right. scary. Well, all right. So um, you come in here every week, and we talk about uh, matters of nutrition and food, et cetera. And we've got a few things. In a bit, we're going to get to uh, an article about more and more men seeking help for eating disorders. Yes. It's really not men that come to mind if you say eating disorder to somebody. That's not the image they get. It's teenage girls, and Quite. then we go from there. So we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, just because I put myself in a position of having to do this, yeah. um, as I've been spending the year uh, trying to lose weight, um, I, I went on vacation, gained some weight. Yes. Next week, lost it. Yes. And then pretty much hung even in, okay. in this week. So. so you're at a plateau at the moment. Yeah, okay. moving on. All right. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about himself. Well, today. no, I just don't want to overdo that. I know. The ketogenic or keto diet, what do we need? This just sounds like something I would avoid. Uh, yes, I think you would avoid it. Okay. Um, so I, and, and we're doing this. I put this, store, put this together. It's on, on the blog on SproutRight.com for anyone that wants more information because I get a lot of questions from our listeners about this diet. We get texts about it all, all of those kind of things on my Facebook page um, and on Instagram. Every, I've got a lot of questions because it's confusing and people keep hearing about it and think this is the next new weight loss. This is, uh, is it's a pretty specific diet. It's very different. So I don't want you to confuse this. This It's called the ketogenic diet. Don't confuse it with ketoacidosis, which is a pretty dangerous condition that can be experienced by diabetics. What it is, is a complete metabolic shift in your body, switching your body from using glucose and carbohydrates as the energy source, because that's what we do typically, to fats. So your body is using fat as fuel, either from what you're eating in your diet or from what's stored. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, interestingly enough, this metabolic shift has you burning fat, like I said, from the diet, from, from stores, and your body prefers this. Your heart prefers it, your brain prefers it, your whole body prefers using ketones as fuel instead of glucose, glycogen, anything from that comes from a carb. So it actually would prefer this. All right, but uh, that doesn't mean that I should suddenly go back to the double cheeseburger. No. I and was that, afraid and you were going to say no. I know, sorry. It's pretty specific. So really the whole diet is high fat, moderate protein, and a very low carbohydrate diet. It's actually completely flipped from probably what most people eat every day. So let's take a 2,000, uh, 2000 calorie a diet day. In a day, if you did have that cheeseburger you just mentioned, you would have blown your carbs because about 5% of your carbs or 100 calories of that 2,000 can be carbs, no more. 15% can be protein, so that's about 3,000 calories, and 80, normally about between 60 and 80% of your daily food intake needs to be fat. But you get it from things like? Bacon. Oh, oh okay, I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> I said that because I knew that you'd be like, oh, now you yeah, got my attention. Yeah, you stopped me there. That's I right. thought you were gonna say avocado or something. It would be best, yes. Yes? Uh, absolutely, you're not gonna okay. put bacon on everything, but. I, I'm saying that to be silly. How about bacon wrapped avocado? Exactly. Okay. Okay. Eighty percent of your calories. Get it's amazing from how that. many people I'm getting to agree with. Me I know. Of the show all of a sudden, all yeah. of a sudden, he's a big fat grin on his face. We're doing a Facebook live of this as well. If you want to see the grin on his face, so all, so many different foods from from fats, oils, uh, avocado oil, as you mentioned, avocado oil, olive oil, any kind of oil, nuts, seeds. Uh, I've got a list, as I said on the on the blog, the skin on the chicken you can eat, the dairy, 
um, any kind of like even duck fat you can have MCT oil in your coffee so that's the bulletproof coffee it is a complete switch okay. don't think that you can do this by halves now you mentioned nuts I'm going on a road trip today yes and so I'll take something along we're gonna have some berries but I have I bought this uh, trail mix yes a lot of nuts yes and also sesame sticks in there which gives it a great flavor are you yes. good with that uh, there it's okay if you're doing a ketogenic diet no but for uh, you yeah, and for you on your road trip, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Then no. Then that yeah. then that's not a bad thing. So a little bit more about this diet because I know people always have questions and there'll be a lot. Of, you'll be getting texts and all of those kind of things. So really, the benefit of this diet is you have fewer cravings, your energy and mood ups and downs much better, better brain function, better hormone balance. People do feel amazing when they do this diet. Long term effects uh, on obesity has been studied a lot. Decrease in LDL cholesterol, increase in good cholesterol, lowers blood pressure, balances blood sugar levels. Uh, sorry, lowers blood pressure and balances blood sugar levels all of your levels of insulin and all of those kind of things so this is very specific don't go out and just think that you need to go and eat a whole bunch of avocado bacon fat bacon duck fat all of those kind of things it's a specific diet I've got a link to a great book on the blog all right um, and somebody just wrote in saying uh, I've been eating this low carb way but I'm getting sick of eggs what can I eat for breakfast yeah see that's tricky when you have to have so much fat there needs to be depending on how many carbs you're going to have in a day, and it can be a little bit different for everyone, having avocado with an egg smashed on top of a lovely piece of toast, well, that's a lovely breakfast for anyone, but you have to you know, add in the carbs to your day. All right, um, now I, I got rid of the Diet Coke. Yes. So did. I didn't have the artificial sweetener. Yes. Um, and I, I stopped putting cream in my coffee. Yes. Uh, to the point now that I tell people, they say, what, what do you want in your coffee? I say, I drink it black the way God intended. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so I've become irritating about that sort of thing. Yeah. But, uh, but now I'm reading, caffeine triggers your cravings for sweet food. Yes. Well, this is a study. This is written in the HuffingtonPost.ca, and I this caught my eye because it's always fun to, fun for listeners to hear about coffee because I you know I don't really drink it and other people do and people who drink coffee are just like don't mess with my coffee. Well, that's right. All my poor clients we get who, jittery. who I tell to please stop drinking coffee. Not all the time. I don't tell everyone to do that. Uh, but really, this comes down to the adenos adenosine receptors, and you don't really need to go into that too no. much other than they get suppressed and make us feel more awake. That's what happens with coffee. Yes. Okay, these receptors get suppressed and that's, that's why what we have makes a cup of coffee feel, in the morning. Exactly. Yeah. Suppressing these receptors has another effect though in decreasing the ability of our taste buds to taste sweetness. So a study came out about this. They tested out rats and they found that when you have coffee, your taste buds are off for sweetness thinking that maybe you crave more sweets, want more sweets, because the coffee has dulled it if you sit there and have a chocolate bar right after. Okay, so, you know, for me, that's just be aware of that. Other than that, I, You know, I think so. And really, what I, what, I, what, I, what I took away from this, and before you sort of start texting, the research that came from this study has led to this opinion. Um, as I'm reading through Huffington Post online, there is another link to, that says to drinking three cups of coffee a day can prolong your life. So within this article also says, please go drink your coffee. Yeah, yeah. And so it's every not saying day, don't drink every coffee. week. So just sort of take yes. this as a bit of knowledge. And it's kind of fun to think, oh, I have my coffee. Do right. I still want something sweet? Do I not want something sweet? Prove them wrong or prove them right. Right. Because if you start telling people not to drink coffee, you're off the show. I have done it and I'm still here and I'll keep doing it. There yeah, are some people that it just doesn't sit, sit no, well No, I mean generally with. speaking. No, 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 okay. no, 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 right, no, good. not generally speaking. There would be a reason why I would ask someone not to not right. drink coffee anymore. All right, uh, Leanne is from SproutRight.com. That's where the blog is she was talking about. We're gonna talk about men seeking help, more men seeking help for eating disorders coming up. It's been a long time coming, but the trial related to the gas plant scandal finally gets underway next week. The newsroom with what we can expect coming up at 11.30. It's 11.16. News Talk 1010 Time Saver Traffic. For your drive as far as collisions are concerned. Yes, don't drink coffee. Take that with a grain of salt, but that may give you give you a high blood pressure. <laughs> what did you say? Jarvis, you'll uh, advice on coffee. Take that with a grain of salt. <laughs>
close to the right lane. Milk there is no coffee. delay, but just something to keep in mind if you're heading towards that vicinity. East Gardner is typically busy right now. James is out towards the ACC. You'll like find some typical delays as well on the South the Wall, Don Valley Parkway. Not too bad, though, between Shepherd and Winford that it slows. North Don Valley Parkway a little busier now approaching wow. Lawrence towards That's York lot. Mills, but again, collision-free. 401 yeah. eastbound volume That's delays past Winston it. Churchill and actually, through Mississauga you Road stretch. You Only a 10 minute drive is what it'll take you from the 427 out to West. Over double the calories and starting to see a little bit of, of volume coming out of Ajax so on the East 401. That too. And also on the 401 eastbound, if you're heading through Curtis Road, we have some road work again. Left lane is blocked, and that's the reason for that jam. It has been a tough day on city streets, but it looks as though some good news coming from Peel Police. It shouldn't be too long before here Ontario reopens near Eglinton. They're just a towing away the last of the vehicles, so we'll keep you posted on that. Fatal collision investigation continues on Steeles between 27 and Martin Grove. That area is closed. We had a van on its side after a collision. Eastbound Rogers Road closed to Dufferin, and Bloor closed, running into Jane for the Ukrainian Festival. News Talk 1010 weather. Yeah, Enjoy the sun. This Some clouds later this afternoon, but it's going to be hot. 28 Festival. for the high. That'll make oh, it yeah. feel like 30 the degrees. The girls uh, have these right now. After school a sunny 22 friends. degrees. Mm -hmm. Friday through uh, Sunday, get 30 bonus air miles when you spend $30 or it's more fun, on almost it anything it in the store. Visit Rexall.ca for details. Which one are you going to? Natalie Somewhere Else. Uh, this is Toronto's Breaking News. Traffic oh. weather. Well, there's one that goes on in Centennial Park. Oh, yeah, no, that's not this one. It's just between Runnymede and Jane. Yeah, of course. So they close it all down and you can wander up and down and get a bunch of deep fried fried foods. Yeah. I went to one once. Med Captain Winspeak. <laughs> I'm surprised you stayed. You had her in again a week or two ago. I don't have her in. The morning show has her in. And I they may bring me in to take her on. <laughs> and? <laughs> Probably so. That's what I do. Right. Windows and doors are just not in your budget yes. this year, right? We had an but interesting meeting, like you know, the consultants and strong enough management for people. Extremes. They're on me I'm all Jeff the time, Ford, you know. Like the local uh, president of the they wanted to do industry. stuff like that Alzheimer's yeah. thing yeah. and everything. Other oh yeah. And so Becky and I both went after for a very limited and we said, "You so better understand. You better get it clear as to what exactly you want Jerry to be." Right. Because you say, oh, do this stuff, do this stuff, do this stuff. Oh, we're going to beat up on Kathleen Wynne. Well, what the hell do you want? Yeah. Yeah. Make your home look more beautiful. Although the, the consultant said, I think you can be all of it. You can be all of it. You are all of it already. Yeah. Yeah. That's included. what you do. And, with our and as you said in that piece, anything you know, you'll take it on. Because that's who you are. Sure. Yeah, people tell me about how they get freaked out if they go into, do you know what discovery is in the legal process? No. Prior to the possibility of a court case, you go in and the law Lawyers for the other side quiz you for as you know not as many hours as they want. There's a limit on how many hours they can do, but it's like I had to do it your travel options rather than expand. And people freak out if it's time because know that the timeshare exit team has options near you where you can sit down with your own personal advisor and I just went in there like, well, bring it. I trust the timeshare exit team because my lawyer said they're going to more aggressive than I get you out or you get a complete refund. But I think it was because he realized already exited in the game that I was harder to intimidate, and that's what he's trying to do. And a couple times I turned a couple things around. And I also did do what they That's probably thought they could get you to do. And what they're trying to get you to do. They're trying to get you to say things. Like a ram truck does. And a lot of yeah, times I, sound bites I gave them dust. All out yeah. towing. Keep it on sound all bites out. Almost. Right. All day. Just stick to the question. Yeah. Every day. Especially yeah. today. Pick well, what are your notes say? I don't have them. 1500 for up to 25%. You don't have notes. SRP, no. Including up Didn't you to think you should make? No. Total cash like, yeah. I'm not going to start defending how no. I do my show. We all have clear out of yeah. See yeah. dealer for details. Well, that's where they trip people up. With CIBC. The other thing, I only, I only made this, this mistake out. once. Wait two seconds. Stand by. Here we come. First of all, to think. Yeah. And secondly, to allow your lawyer an opportunity to jump in and say, I'm not going to answer that question. That started right from the beginning. Yeah. So you do a full-time radio show. Yes, I do. For a short haul what do they pay you for that? Plus, with any airline, and the lawyer says, it's not going to answer that. It's an even yeah. shorter trip to this. Because it's none of your business. Yeah. Room service. Oh. But, but you don't CIBC know as an ordinary Aventura, person what you legally have to answer. I just swore to tell the truth. And, you know, but that's why I have a lawyer. In one case, you said, I'm not going to answer that question. Why not? That's not going to do with the case. Well, that's not really why I was asking you. That's all you're allowed to ask. Thank God for lawyers.
So Motown Friday. I'm Jerry Yegar. Leanne Phillipson from SproutRight.com is here. That song always cracks me up. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, what what every time I hear it, what comes to my mind is who knew Doodle Lang was a lyric? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say Doodle Lang right there. That's oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Until That'll somebody work. actually write that down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Thanks, Nick. laughs> yeah. The singers come in. They look at the sheet music. I'm singing Doodle Lang. Doodle Lang. Yeah. How do you pronounce yes. that? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Then. Brilliant. All right. More men are seeking help for eating disorders than ever before. And uh, this is U.S. research, but, I, you know, our lifestyles are not that different. Yeah. Uh, an estimated 10 million men in the United States, let's uh, thumbnail that as a million men in Canada, sure. uh, suffering from eating disorder in their lifetime. I would bet you, and I'm not trying to be, you know, sexist or gender specific mm -hmm. about this, um, I think... Men, women, young, old, anybody. Yes. If I, if you played that little game, like I'll give you a term, you tell me what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. um, if they were honest, if you said eating disorder, teenage girl. Right. That's that's the first image that's going to come to mind. Yes. But it it's not that's I, that's not untrue. Right. But men, adult men, yep. probably are the are the last one because part of the time they don't think it's a disorder. No, I like eating this way. Yeah. But but they're saying the part that surprised me was the number of people who were saying actually the thing you think about with girls bulimia, mm -hmm. that oh, surprises yes. me. Yeah. Because men, uh, a lot of times men are are quite frankly a little less concerned about how they look. They can be. Yeah. And then there's also obviously 10 million uh, in the U.S. that can be. Uh, the National Eating Disorder Association reports that men admitted to hospitals for eating disorders has risen 70 percent between 2010 and 2016. Now I wonder if this is because men are getting to the point where they're more willing to admit they have a problem or if we have a growing problem or yep. both. Or I, both. Well this is was an, from an article in men's health on menshealth.com um, they suggested that Perhaps it's because male celebrities like Eminem, Denise, uh, sorry, Dennis Quaid, Robert Pattinson, Aaron Carter, and Bam Magira, they opened up about their struggles. Uh, 2006, Quaid told People magazine that he suffered from anorexia in the 90s and lost more than 40 pounds. Yeah, when it wasn't good for him to lose 40 pounds. And this must be, you know, nothing necessary to do with a film where there is either got to lose or put on or something. You know, this would have been a different situation. Yeah. Because there are times when actresses and actresses have to put on a lot of weight or lose a lot of weight. That, you know, even just that then turning into something where they feel like I have to do this because then, you know, this is just part of what I have to do. I don't know. It's a bit tricky. Um, but Eminem definitely, he in 2007, he talked about his negative body image um, led to a running addiction. And he said that he has an addict's brain. So when it came to running, he got carried away. Started getting OCD about the calories, making sure that he burned 2,000 calories every day. So I really think that any young male, old male, whoever is out there and who's hearing these other people who you think, oh, you know, they've got it made, they've got everything great, don't realize that there's a lot a lot behind this. And then there's also, you know, the more male stigma where for some it's a lot of pressure to be, say, the breadwinner or, you know, all of those kind of things. And that goes to self-esteem, which then also can think, you know, um, I don't know, am I worthy or all of those kind of things. Sure. I think it's tremendous that this is improving, that men are taking themselves to hospitals, that there's talking about this conversation around it. Well, I, I'm glad that you mentioned stress because the thing that came to my mind, and I'm no professional in this area, was there's a reason for the term comfort food. Yes. Right? Yeah. And uh, comfort food, especially because that also sometimes <laughs> brings up volume yes. of food. You know, how about yes. a whole tub of ice cream instead of, uh, you know, just a few mouthfuls, yeah, yeah, or a little bowl. Right, yes. because I'm not, uh, I, I'm doing it for an emotional reason as opposed to nutritional, yeah. or even to say I like to have a taste of it. I mean, I can do that if I'm conscious of it. I just want to taste this and then I, I won't have, you know, as much as I probably used to eat in the past. Yeah. But if you're trying to overcome some sort of emotional issue, stress at work we talked about earlier, the yeah. great number of Canadians report that they have stress at work, they yes. prefer to quit their job. Well, that's one of the ways you can go home and, and feel better. Yes. Temporarily. And there's also just that control aspect, too. So in some discussions and articles that I've read, this is an area where anyone, male or female, can actually control their life in the midst of 
you know, either chaos or I don't feel like I have a say or I, I can't choose what I want to do, all of those kind of things, I get to choose what I put in my mouth and I'm going to restrict until I feel like I'm, you know, I'm in a place where I, where I feel okay. Leanne Phillipson, SproutWrite.com. Hey, there's Jim Richards sitting right there. Oh, hi. Hello. Afternoon, hello. After 12 noon, it's um, driving instructors. What one woman has to say about how men are driving. And I want to ask people if they think that it is true. You have to hear it just after um, 12 noon. And then the story of one now 43-year-old woman who was... Uh, trafficked at a very young age when she ran away and what her life has turned into uh, that after one o'clock along with a father who says wait a second my dead son we found his killer through a school resource officer a police officer wow. in schools so and you have that individual on the show yeah and the 10 whitest songs ever recorded according to me White or Shade of Pale by Procol Harum. Well, that includes the word white, but no, I'm thinking Starland Vocal Band, Afternoon Delight. <laughs> it's a whiter song ever. I'd love some to hear about it, but I don't think there is. Are there no black people in Starland Vocal Band? Don't know, actually. Okay, so there you go. Oh, also, we're going to play uh, Did Richard Crouch Like This Movie at a new time. Okay. I don't want to get go into why it's at a new time, but... Because <laughs> your show's only till 2? Thanks, Jerry. How could a potential move by city councillors to make you pay more for a tow truck actually protect you as a consumer? The newsroom with the math, 